guaranteed another piece of the action a little bit later on. Detonator, they've gone. So it's Frenzy against Ming Tu and Mortis against Panic Attack. In the pits, getting ready for the semi-finals, we have Mortis. Arthur, how are you feeling today, young man? Tired, worn out. Tired? Fed up. How's the competitive spirit? Um, what competitive spirit? Oh, come on, this is important. This is okay. our nation we're talking yeah. about. You've got to get through yeah. this. I think oh, this is your fight. Have you faced panic attack in other wars? Yes, we have some time ago. Um, and uh, what happened? They beat us. They won. They won. <laughs> this is a beautiful machine, winner of the second wars. Uh, you've been a good performer in the past. What are your tactics going to be against Mortis? Um, I think we'll pick him up, toss him over. Chuck him around the arena. Uh, and if there's anything left, we'll give it to the house robots. Uh, my money's on him. Bye bye, Miss American Pie. Drove my robots to kill a lot, and yes, the end was nigh. But far be it from me to be biased. We've got four teams left, and may the best robots win a place in our finals. Let the semi finals begin! <laughs> Stand by. Real grudge match. This panic attack with the lifters. There's Kim Davis at the controls. It's Sam Michael and Christian Bridge with them. And there's Mortis, Rob Knight at the controls with Arthur Chilcott. Three, two, one. Great competitor over the years with Mortis and Rob Knight. They've taken some stick from the crowd, I know, but they always come back and they're always fearsomely courageous and very competitive and look at that axe and don't forget they've got the lifting arm as well but not as bad as panic attack four lifters in underneath them what they'll try and do is get those forks do you see blacked up underneath the tracks of mortis try and pluck away the tracks leaving him mobile and of course then beat mortis gets away side on now broadside attack on panic attack with the axe once more mortis kim davis is one of the uh, best uh, most erudite of drivers in robot wars. Great style of control, always has shown it, but pushed back to the CP set dangerously. And in reverse, perhaps getting away, dragging Mortis, or was that a Mortis shove? The axe is impaled on panic attack, right there in the very heart of panic attack. Now, can Kim control the attack? Back into serious contention because at the moment I would say Mortis has been the more aggressive of the two. Over the top of Panic Attack, almost smell the sulfur of the flames, feel the burn. Panic Attack in underneath. Mortis trying to shove it there towards the CPZ and Sakilalot awaits. That was a Panic Attack drive and Sakilalot comes in with the mighty pincers and lifts Mortis up. Shows it to the arena crowd. That was worthy tactics from Panic Attack. Pushing Mortis back in, comes down with a, a bash. Crash back down to earth. In comes Panic Attack again. Don't panic! Don't panic, Mr. Mortis! Panic Attack's on the attack. With a slam of the axe. Oh, something's come up there. I think it was superficial only. But look at this Panic Attack trying to free itself using the forks. And no, they're repetitive. Try of that Mortis axe. Great strength by Panic Attack. Forcing it back onto the arena side wall. This is very even, you know. It could well go to the judges as to who makes the War of Independence final. We will have a UK flag in that final, of course. Guaranteed. Panic Attacks. Backing on to Mortis. It will go to the judges and it was very, very close. Too close for me to call. El Judge on style. Control, damage and aggression. Martin Smith. Professor Noel Sharkey there in the middle and Dr. Myra Wilson on the right. So let's count the points together. A good panic attack. But back come Mortis. Who's on top there? Mortis or panic attack driving Mortis into the arena wall. Certainly could thrust from the axe. But then panic attack drove Mortis into the CPZ. Was that decisive? decision. It couldn't be any closer. There's only one point in it. But through to the final, fighting for Britain in the War of Independence, is Mortis! <laughs> Listen to that. 
hostile crowd, they're on your side, they wanted you to go through. Well, maybe we drove better and um, pushed them about, but they actually did more damage. Yeah, they did a bit more damage and they were they were very aggressive, weren't they? That axe can hit quite fast, can't it? Yeah. Didn't really penetrate you though, did it? No. You upset? No. <laughs> no? Have <laughs> you enjoyed it? Yeah, we've really enjoyed it. <laughs> And you never know, we still we still might get to beat the Yanks, mightn't we? <coughs> well, I think we'll definitely beat the Yanks. Nothing wrong with a bit of xenophobia. No. no. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Panic Attack! <laughs> well, you did it! We did it. We did it. We did it. the final. Well, something, finally. I've always <laughs> said, I've always said you flatter to deceive, you're the great pretenders, but you're through to the final now. Yeah. Let's hear it for Mortis! <laughs> Well, team, the crowd weren't very pleased with that decision, were they? No, they don't. They don't like Mortis that much, do they? Why? Uh, I don't know. It's always been since War One. They, you know, the crowd never liked them. Oh, and you've <laughs> always been a favourite because you won the Second Wars with a sponsored robot. That was sort of the first sponsored robot that we've seen, and it, you've always been a fantastic team, raising yeah. lots of money and everything else. And you're a competition winner yourself, aren't you? Yes. And you've joined up with the Panic Attack team. Have you enjoyed yourselves? Yes, it's really good. Excellent. Is there anything you wish you'd done differently in that battle? Possibly to be able to use the self-writer while we're on our wheels to put the... To, it should be able to lift another robot out of the arena, but I changed the design before we came up. I should have kept it. You hear that booing? That must be in the back.